Sibley grinds out ton on even first day. This week looks likely to be the end of the road for Gloucestershire in Division 1. They face fellow strugglers Warwickshire in Bristol, the defending champions some 41 points ahead of them in ninth. A first win of the season for the hosts could reduce that deficit, but their destiny is no longer in their hands. The Bears would elect to bat, a lightning start seeing them move to 20 from less than four overs. But Gloucestershire responded, Yates outcaught by Taylor off Dale for 19. And Payne then removed his replacement, Davis bowled for three. Payne and Sibley solidified the innings for a while. The duo moved the score beyond 50 when Sibley turned Gahar into the leg side for two. But the hosts would find another wicket, the threatening Hayne out for 10 off 74 as the catch looped to Ben Charlesworth at short leg. Rhodes and Sibley were solid through to lunch. Warwickshire under a bit of pressure at the break, the score 73 for three. As he so often does, Sibley had looked solid from the start and he kept up that form after the break, the 100 up when he cut Gahar to the ropes. And with a single off Tom Price, Sibley went to a 50, scored from 114 balls. Much better for Warwickshire now. The Price brothers combined for the first breakthrough after lunch. Tom with the delivery, Ollie with the catch, Will Rhodes with the dejected walk back to the dressing room. Yadav would follow, bowled through the gate by Gahar. Warwickshire were now five down. Bethel added two to the score before he too departed thanks to Gahar. Charlesworth barely had to move to take the catch at short leg. Briggs was a more stubborn presence, sticking with Sibley through the tee. The score now 164 for six. And Gloucestershire found themselves bogged down by the pair when they returned to the middle. The Bears' seventh wicket duo up to 50 from 116 balls when Briggs flicked one off his toes for four. The spinner was looking in good touch, watching on as Sibley added four more to the total to bring up the 200. And Briggs found the gap a fully priced to move to 50, score from 86 balls. The Bears had really found their feet now. He leant back, stroked Tom Price to the ropes for four, and his stand with Sibley was now worth 100. But Briggs would fall on 65, caught by Ollie Price at slip off Zafar Gahar. And suddenly, the piece was shattered. Brooks outcaught by Charles with off Dale for one. There was time left in the day for Sibley to move to 100. He'd been there from the start, and with the 237th delivery he'd faced, he had three figures to his name. There were just four more added on day one, Warwickshire finishing on 255 for eight. Both sides will feel they've taken enough out of the game to feel confident of building on that good start, and perhaps even picking up the result they came for. It's been an even contest so far, and both will come out fighting on the second day of play at the Seat Unique Stadium in Bristol.